Hello viewers, welcome to Linux Simply. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Samba server in Ubuntu. So let's get started. At first, I'm going to open the Ubuntu terminal. Now I'm going to update the packages that are existing. This sudo command is used to grant administrative privileges. This apt update updates all outdated packages and dependencies on the system. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue. And the password of the root user and pressing the enter button again. After updating the previous packages, now I'm going to install Samba. Install uh, will specify the install task that needs to be performed. And this is the name of an open source software package. And this is used to share files. This option Y automatically answers yes to any confirmation message during installation. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. Now let's verify the installation using a very simple command. This uh, various command is used to look for the location of the installed package. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. As you can see, here is the location of this package. That means the installation is done successfully. Now I'm going to open necessary ports for the Samba service and for this I'm going to use sudo command. This is a command line tool for managing firewall configurations in Ubuntu and this allow option uh, allows incoming network traffic for Samba service and this is the name of the software package. Now I'm tapping on the enter button to continue. After opening the necessary ports, now I'm going to create a directory for sharing files. For this, I'm going to use this mkdir command is used to create a new directory or folder. Now tapping on the enter button. After this, I'm going to add a user to the Samba server on Ubuntu. This um, SME plus WD sets password for Samba users and this option allows the command to add a new Samba user. And this is the name of the user. Now I'm tapping on the enter button and typing a new password for this and pressing enter button. Retyping the password and pressing enter button again. As you can see, the user Sylvie is added to the Samba server. After this, I'm going to configure Samba settings for shared folder. Now I'm going to use this Nano is a text editor. And uh, this is the configuration file of Samba to customize settings. Tapping on the enter button to continue. And here I'm going to add a few lines. And after uh, adding these lines, I'm going to save it uh, using Control S and uh, exit it using Control X. But before that, I want to explain this to you. This is the name of the folder from where I want to share the contents. And this is the path of the folder I want to share and uh, this uh, available specifies uh, whether the file is available for sharing or not and uh, here I'm going to use a valid username and this read only uh, read only specifies uh, whether the file is available for reading or not this uh, writable specifies whether the file can be written to or not this browsable 
uh, specifies whether the shared file is visible for while browsing the network or not. This public specifies so whether the shared file is accessible to all users or not. And now I'm going to save and exit the file. After this, I want to restart the Samba server. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. This uh, service control services in the Ubuntu system. This SMBD provides file sharing services to Windows user. And this restart command is used to stop running the service and start again. Now I'm going to check the status of the um, service. Now I'm tapping on the enter button. As you can see, the status is active right now. Uh, that means the installation of Samba server is done successfully. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you find this complicated, you can always read the full article. Bye-bye.